They call me iconoclastic, my head on a platter, like John the Baptist, blasphemous, heretic, conceited bastard. I just ask the questions the preacher can't answer, like why Christians in prayers and say amen when that's the Egyptian sun god, Amon Ray. Ain't that a sin to say? And ain't that pagan? And ain't pagan meaning Satan? And if Satan gave mankind liberation, it's worship of knowledge, the Templar of revelation, of Freemasons. This is how to kill God. Holocaust, crusade, Zionism, jihad. Rask has a God body MC. 18th letter, Jehovah God's son, then me. My freestyles ain't free. Impossible like one divinity divided into three. The same people who rape and beat you, teach you. That rabbits lay chocolate eggs on Easter. Mormons believe Prophet Joe Smith said Christ came to America in 1820 and shit. Said black people was cursed. Preached polygamy and told the white man to rule the earth. Utah is still racist as could be. So motherfuck Donnie and Marie. So the original title uh, name of the album was called How to Kill God. Um, and iTunes, with all their freedom of expression, told us that we couldn't. We had to end up calling the album Blasphemy, which was still a play on words. Um, there's nothing, I don't believe, blasphemous about what I'm saying. Um, but it starts with that. It says, uh, just, uh, we still put, the song was still called, the actual song was still called How to Kill God, but we couldn't call the album How to Kill God. Um, and that was part, it goes with the hypocrisy of America, that if I would have said how to kill Allah or how to kill Buddha, I'm more than sure they would have allowed that to be it. But because the, the idea is that the Judeo-Christian version of God, which implies this white guy, they wouldn't allow that. And so uh, it starts with, um, they call me iconoclastic. I got, iconoclastic person is somebody that's fighting with, um, you know, picking fights with, with mainstream thought. So I'm in being uh, actually dissed because of it, because you don't fit in. Um, so they call me iconoclastic, my head on a platter, like John the Baptist. So there's a lot of biblical references in, in this song. Yeah, so my head on a platter like John the Baptist to be, you know, to be sacrificed for, for giving truth and baptizing people. Um, with that, it, it visually, what it was is, you know, John the Baptist was making way for Jesus and still got fucked off. You know what I'm saying? Make a way for something righteous. So my head on a platter like John the Baptist, blasphemous. He was considered blasphemous. So was you know. So was Yeshua ben Yosef, the the, the Christ, um, heretic, conceited bastard, which is real. Um, goes into my my album, my second album, um, and then I say I just ask the questions that the pre the preacher can't answer. So it comes from a real life experience. Literally, uh, even with the church, you couldn't ask anything. If you questioned it, they would call you a heretic. They'd burn you. They, they were killing people, and pri imprisoning people, um, you know, uh, because you questioned the church. That, that was the ultimate law, and they'll just kill you. So, you know, and that's what Sharia law and all these other things are. Um, and so I say, I just ask simply, why am I bad? Because I ask a question the preacher can't answer. And then the question I ask is, why do Christians say prayers and end them in amen, when historically the root of that word is from Amen Ray. Um, so Sun Ray, and then, you, you know, so whether it's Hebrew or what, you know, all, all, all older languages, it still comes from Amen and then Aten. So Amen Ray, Sun Ray, Son of God, all this. So I'm asking that preacher one thing, like if you're Christian or even if the Hebrews were in Egypt, and they left and their God is Jehovah, why are they ending their prayer and still giving praise to the Egyptian God? It's just really fucking common. When you think about it, it becomes common sense, but common sense ain't common. So I say, so why do they end, why do Christians end, prayer, end prayers and say amen when that's the Egyptian sun God, Amen Ra? Isn't that a sin to say? And ain't that pagan? So shouldn't that be pagan holidays fucking with, with the Egyptian God if, if, the, if, if the true God is the Hebrew God, then why keep using dude's name? And ain't that pagan? And ain't pagan, doesn't it imply the devil, Satan? And then I go into more biblical, and I, I think I'm, what I talk about is knowledge, that Adam and Eve, the, 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 the snake with the apple. 
Um, Luciferians and, and other people believe that knowledge was given uh, through, through making that mistake by biting the apple. So I say, and if Satan gave mankind liberation, to choice and free will, instead of everybody being perfect, if that fall from grace was from the apple, are you, is, are you literally trying to imply that Satan is our savior? And I'm, I'm asking these questions. There's nothing, I'm not saying that's what I believe. I'm asking with this information, wouldn't that imply that? Does one plus one equal two? So if Satan gave mankind, is worship of knowledge, if, if Satan gave mankind liberation, is worshiping knowledge the Templar revelation of Freemasons, which is all the shit that's on your dollar, the pyramid and Novus Ordo Seclorum and all these things, Anuit Coepidus. So is worship of knowledge the Templar revelation of Freemasons? This is how to kill God. And basically the premise of it, the entire premise of the song is that God is love. God is, you know, all of us. We're, you know, specifically humans were made in the image and likeness of, of God. The original man is the Asiatic black man. And so, but everybody else, we're, we're all God's creation. So don't, basically, it's don't be an asshole. Like, don't kick the cat. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Don't fucking molest the, the kid. Just show some love. Don't fucking take all the oil and it, all that. Don't rape the lady, all that. So it goes, this is how to kill God, Holocaust. So a whole bunch of destruction of life. I named four different extremes of people that are constantly, you know, examples of, of lots of people being hurt. So this is how to kill God, Holocaust, the Crusades, Zionism, Jihad. Um, from there, I go into lyrical gods. I say, Raskaz, God, Body, MC. The first God MC that I'm pretty sure all of us would agree on is Rakim. So I say, Raskaz, God, Body, MC, 18th letter, 18th letter, which is the R, Rakim. Jehovah, that was Jigaman, Jay-Z. Godson was Nas's, I think, fourth or fifth album, Nas and Me. So... I say a brass cast a guy body MC, Rod Kim, Jay Z, Nas, Raz. My freestyles ain't free. It's impossible. Like one divinity divided into three. So uh, yeah, that might piss some people off. Um, from there, I say I start using practical things. I say the same people who raped you and beat you, um, and that was in every culture. Whether you're from India, whether you're from uh, South America, Central America, Aboriginal, uh, Alaska, the same people that went around this planet and murked everybody out culturally actually have you celebrating a, a holiday where there's a Cadbury rabbit shitting out fucking chocolate Easter eggs. You're not being taught really good information is the point of it. So I say the same people that rape and beat you, teach you, rabbits lay chocolate eggs on Easter. Mormons, and then I give another example about a, a, a culture and a religion, an offset of, 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 of this culture, that Mormons literally believe that Jesus Christ came here, he was a white guy, and that the white guy that was born in Northeast Africa, that he came here, but he was a white guy, and he came to America and told them that manifest destiny, all the, which is, you're taught this in history class, the whole idea of manifest destiny, that white people thought they could come here and that the Indian was beneath them, the native was beneath them, and that's why they could bring other people because they weren't human, that the black man uh, and the brown and black people that were already here were beneath humans, and that God told them this was what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to kill everybody, they could rape the bitches, steal the land, um, scout people, all the shit they did and that they tried to put off on other people. So I said, uh, Mormons believe Prophet Joe Smith I said Christ came to America in 1820 and shit, then said that all of us were cursed, said he could have all the bitches he wanted, he could marry as many wives as he wanted, it's the same shit that they complain about with, uh, you know, Islam, and then also told him he could rule the earth. That's his, you know, that's what the white guy gets to does. Not the Japanese guy, not the Samoan guy, not the fucking Nigerian, not the Native American, that there's only one guy. And he gets to just run through, rape your bitch, you know, whatever. So I said, uh, um, uh, preach polygamy and told the white man to rule the earth. 
And then I used, I had a very bad experience one time in Utah and I said, uh, and it was very a, ra a racist situation. So it made me think about that, about the Mormons. And I said, Utah is still racist as could be. And I'm sorry, I picked on Donnie and Marie. Because if you're in that religion, then you have to believe in the tenets of the religion. So I shitted on them too. Um, and that's uh, How to Kill God, line for line.